Now find the sum of this geometric series that we have here. And to get started, I'm just going to work out a few terms so that we can visualize what is happening. So the first term, we can just plug in 1 for k. So we're going to get 2 times 3 to the power of 1 minus 1. Then we're going to add the following term. It's just going to be 2 times 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. Because we just plug in the next number after 1 for k. And I'm going to put a dot 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 here because I don't want to write down every single term. And I'm just going to write down the last term. And I'm just going to plug in 7 for k for the last term. There we go. Okay, so this is our first term. We're just going to work out to be 2. Because 2 times 3 to the power of 0, just 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 to the 0 is just 1. So 2 times 1, just 2. What about this guy? 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And there we have the last term. And the last term will be 2 times 3 to the power of 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 3 to the power of 6 is 729 times 2. 1458. Okay, now that we know that, how can we find the sum of everything? I will be using this formula, the last term formula, a minus r l all over 1 minus r. With this formula, we can just plug in the last term, and we don't even really need to know how many terms there are. In this case, we know there are seven terms, right, because we can just go 7 minus 1 plus 1 to get the number of terms. That's just in case you wanna you were wondering. So n is 7, but we won't need to know n for this particular equation. So a, the first term is 2 minus r. What is r? The common ratio will be just 3. How did I find that out? Well, you can just take one term and divide it by the previous. So 6 over 2 is 3. So 3 times the last term, which is 1458, all over 1 minus 3. Great, so I'm just going to quickly work that out on my calculator. So 2 minus 3 times 1458, it's just going to work out to be negative 4372. And we're dividing that by negative 2, of course. So the sum works out to be 2,186, or 2,186. That is the sum of our series.